Nah. Okay. Okay. What's up? What's up? Welcome to our channel. I'm Mr. Cakes. We're Magic Marijuana. <laughs> and tonight we decided to go live with a soulful mukbang. I started because I couldn't wait. <laughs> <laughs> but we um we have some greens right here. We have some beef beef ribs. We have turkey wings. Two kinds, two kinds of rice, mac and cheese. Yeah. Peach cobbler, sweet potato pie. How rude of me not to show y'all. Greens. Two rices. Turkey wings. Beef ribs. Oh, we got some dessert. Peach cobbler. What's that, pumpkin pie? Sweet potato pie. Oh, not eating that. That's going to be all for you. I'm going to take like a little tiny bite. How you doing, Jesse? <laughs> now, you may, you, may see, you may see us lip smacking, mm -hmm. finger licking, swapping drinks, swapping spit, and swapping kisses. <laughs> But hey, that's what we do. This marriage of marijuana. And as always on our lives, we just kick it with y'all. We kick the Willy Bobo. We talk. Open dialogue, open dialect, whatever. Yep. So anything you want to talk about, let's talk about it. Because you know we will. Opinion opinionated dialogue. That's what I give you. So get your get your things ready. We just finished doing ours, and you know it's munchy time. For sure. So we're about to dig in. Without further ado, I'm going to introduce myself to some more of these greens. And we already said grace, so we already blessed the food, too. Yeah. Mm. We both really came home. But you know what? Let's give my our, our special toast we do as a treat. Mm -hmm. I got a new one anyway. Wait, what the, how did I do it earlier? Thank she don't remember already. what she do. I got another one for you, come on. Let's see, I always get her. She can't get it like me. The day has been um a pretty good day. The weather was all right. I wanted to go swimming, but I didn't get to the pool. Um, let y'all know. That's why I still got my pool gear on. These greens taste pretty good. Just so happened the place open today. Okay. The restaurant we ordered ordered this from just so happened. For real? This was today was the, we should have got something free. We ain't get free, anything free. Was one of these pies free? We ain't get nothing free. Mm. With grand opening, don't you usually get something free? I don't know. Mm. That turkey. Turkey leg thing wingy. This is good. It's good, ain't it? It tastes like it got um sharp cheese in it. American sharp cheese. Mac and cheese pretty good too. I got some salt. Thank you, baby. Mm. Oh that fried is so good. The panic just a little bit. What y'all think about uh ASAP Rocky being uh charged over there in Sweden? That's kind of messed up, don't you think? Did he hit the guy or did he? He, he wound up hitting him. He, oh, he did hit him. Yeah, but the guy provoked him. He followed him. They let the guy go, and they let the bodyguard go. Who they first seen on tape assaulting the man. Who was the aggressor? That don't make sense. That's backwards. Mm -hmm. That don't make sense. That's how it go, though. Mm. Wait, that's bacon? No, what is that? that's beef rib. Oh, that's a rib. Yeah. Oh. Bacon? I don't know. Mm. It's big. <laughs> oh, it's that kind of rib. Yeah. I gotta get a piece of it off. 
I ain't gonna take the whole thing. Listen, I've been mm. blow, I've been blowing all day. That's good. Here and there. That's good. I'm feeling good. I'm in my zone. I'm grooving. I'm eating. Yeah. I'm chit chatting with y'all, chatterboxing. So, uh, huh. uh it, I'm winning. I'm winning. Uh-huh. Yeah. And it's good too. That's good. Mm. I'm gonna eat some of this rice right here. You got a winner. Um, as I told y'all earlier, well, a couple days ago, me and Cakes just finished uh doing a video for one of my songs. Mm-hmm. I think I did pretty good. I don't know how many of y'all into rap music or whatnot, but if y'all be interested in me maybe showing it on our show one day, let me know. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Let me know. I would definitely. How would you do it? I will find a way to do it. <laughs> yeah, I know that's right. I'll mm-hmm. find a way to do it. and um. That's good, ain't it? Mm-hmm. You know, it'd be my honor to do it for y'all. I don't know how you eat with that little white fart. I can't do it. I gotta eat with. It's more sturdy. It's more sturdy. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna lick my fingers, suck my tooth. Uh-huh. All that. That's All how that. the pimps do. The pimps suck their tooth. I didn't get none of the um, greens yet. How was that? Greens good. Mm. Now, um, I want to make a statement real fast. What? We are marriage and marijuana. However, we don't just smoke marijuana on our channel. We don't just smoke marijuana in our everyday life. We have too many things to do. Oh, that's we're, that's we're, right. we're busy moving in too many directions. Oh, no, that's right. Um, so please don't get it, don't get it misunderstood. If you come here thinking we're a stoner couple that's just gonna be blowing our backs out. But we you, do. You're gonna we be just, sadly mistaken. But we do, we do blow our backs out. You're gonna be sadly mistaken. Because although we, we may blow hard when we blow, <laughs> that's when we blow. But when we take care of other things, that's what we do. It's many sides of us to us. So I don't care if we just smoke two ounces. Can't hold our head up and can't keep our eyes open. We're going to continue pushing forward and doing what we got to do on our other avenues. That we that we're uh, driving on. You understand what I'm saying? So, variety is is the spice of life. And when you come to our channel, we're gonna give you a variety of things, a variety of things done our way. We don't care how many people doing it. We're gonna do it too, but we're gonna do it our way. Yeah. So that being said, marriage and marijuana. 
We're diverse. Yeah, we like blowing weed. Yeah, we do. We like being entertaining. We like being inspiring. We like to encourage. We like to listen. So why don't even go with a little food we like to have fun. It's food in the bottom. You got food in the bottom. So, with the many facets of us, we present to you on our platform, Magic Marijuana. So, I was lucky. I got fruit in the bottom of I'm Mr. That's Cakes. Welcome and welcome back. This is my first real meal for the day, and it's almost midnight. We only had breakfast. So I am really hungry. You real hungry too? I am real hungry. This is, ooh. Ooh. This sauce is good. What up, Justin? Miss you too, homie. Oh, we snacking on some soul food. Mac and cheese, beef ribs, collard greens, it's turkey good. wings, two types of rice, peach cobbler, sweet potato pie. It's good too. Yeah, I must say it is very, very good. Very good. So since we trying to um, not really watch our weight, but just work out a little bit, <laughs> this should be good. Cause we're not gonna go right to sleep after this. We can't sleep after you eat. We I mean, can't go to sleep right after you eat. Yeah, do Justin. Yeah, you can't go to sleep after this. Yeah, gotta digest your meal. Mm-hmm. This good. I wish you was here to taste this. It's so good. You be licking your fingers like I am. They cold. <laughs> yeah, but they Those say. Those is cold. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. So how the weather in Virginia? Great exercise. <laughs> What's good exercise? Eating. <laughs> mm. Eating is great exercise. <laughs> How the weather in VA? Oh, hmm. yeah, we had we had a mini heat wave too. I'm glad it's over. I had a headache the entire time. Couldn't do. And I was drinking plenty of water, but for some reason I was still having headaches. I can't take that heat it's too much. Right, babe? You too. You can't take that hot heat either. Usually, yeah, the headache too. For real? That's the worst, man. The worst. I drink the spilling. <laughs> mm. We up in PA. We we headed back um headed back down south in a few. Yep. 
Yeah. No, we, we stay traveling. We, mm -hmm. <laughs> we got to stay traveling. Um, yeah. Texas and Arizona will be the next uh, place we go. I can't wait to go to Texas. I cannot wait for that trip. It is going to be lovely. Lovely. And we're probably going to bring you guys with us because we've been going live a lot more. So I'm pretty sure y'all going to see something. If you're not there, if you're there already, then you got to holler at us. If you're there, please DM us on Marriage Marijuana because we got an Instagram. So hit us up on our Instagram if you have one. Right? Everything big in Texas. <laughs> That's what they say. <laughs> That's what they say. Everything big in Texas. Shit. When I get to Texas, I'm going to be big too. Yeah. Oh man. So I guess we'll start documenting our little weight loss. Um I don't know, probably next week. Documenting? What? What you mean? We'll be recording it. You know, I hate bugs. I hate spiders. That's the main thing I hate is spiders. What? No. Uh uh. You gotta tell all of us. Yes, I don't. I don't remember that. I don't remember. Oh, okay. I do not remember. So oh, here's a here's a <laughs> a story time. I I don't remember every fact because I was a child at the time. I was probably about <laughs> eight nine years old. <laughs> But um, this guy, I guess he was homeless. Or maybe he was on drugs. I, I don't remember. But um, he had nowhere to live. And a friend of mine lived like maybe four houses down from me. So the guy would crawl under his house every night and go to sleep. So one day, the guy, well, one night the guy crawled under there. He was either hired up or drunk whatever the case may be. And it, it's not really that cold in Georgia at night, but this time it was a little, it was a little brisk. It was right about November, maybe October, November or whatnot. Um, and, you know, Georgia has brown recluse. And if you know about yeah. them brown recluse, you know, they ain't nothing to play with. So um, he was under the house sleep. And I guess the, uh, Spiders was drawn to the alcohol or the or the chemical or the drug smell, whatever. And he got bit up so bad under that house by the spiders that he died that night under the house from being bit up by the spiders. How, who was it again? A friend of mine's um house. I don't know who the we don't know who the guy was. We don't know who the guy was. He's either drunk or high and when he went to sleep under the house, he got killed. The spiders bit him up, and that's why you was freaking out out there, stomping the oh, spiders I, I, out listen. hard. They was jumping listen. around. I <laughs> thought he was gonna put his foot through the ground. I don't like. He was listen. stomping so hard. I was like, "Babe, it's okay." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like yep, they be right in house like tenants. But I don't play with no. I don't listen. I, I don't care about too much. You know, but spiders, I don't play with spiders at all. No, I, I done been, been bit on the foot by spiders yep. several times. By yep. The same damn foot. I get mad about that shit. Yeah, they killed them. Yeah. Yep. The spiders killed them. I mean, I don't know how much it would have, how many bites it would have took to kill, kill them. But, I mean... Brown recluse. Uh, just imagine the nest of brown recluse biting you. I'm pretty sure that poison probably got in there and traveled pretty fast. Oh, shoot. Forgot. Yeah. Dang, like yeah. You know what? Uh, and I watch. <laughs> I wish I could make a movie from it. I mean, it would be a great story, though, but I mean, what would the. The backstory be what? What would what would the backstory be? 
that's that's the main thing you have to make up a backstory for the climax for people to get good. interested in to know why and then uh yeah the climax and the overall tragedy of the story is him getting killed by the spiders under the house yeah but the backstory that's that's the the main thing you have to work on is the backstory um <laughs> let me let me let me uh tell it you want some peach cobbler that's peach cobbler that's peach it was apple pie said peach Even cobbler better i thought it was apple now listen pie. being this came from a restaurant i'm not really sure i know i've seen greedy but i'm not how sure. much of a homemade peach cobbler this would really be four dollars Everybody claims stuff is homemade. Five dollars. And then when you taste it, it ain't homemade. It, that's supposed to be homemade. Yeah. You say it look homemade. I'm about to see. I gotta give it the taste test. Yeah. You? See, it's too doughy already. It looked too doughy. It might be homemade, but they might just don't know how to make it. It is doughy. It's so. This is not a southern peach cobbler. Whoever made this from yeah, Philadelphia. It's like pureed peaches. The peaches is like pureed. They're not even like real peaches. You probably can't even see it, but this is not a slop. This is not a good peach cobbler. But since I paid money, I'm gonna eat it. And I like to eat something sweet after my meal. So this will do. Now I know they ain't mess up. The well, they kick if the sweet potato pie bland. I don't even want to eat none of that based off of this. I love sweet potato pie. You want to try some now? Yeah. Boo this on a peach cobbler. This would be for you. That's boo I on a peach cobbler. Yeah, it is. What? A small pie. <laughs> Yeah. You know that you know they don't ever try to feed you right at these restaurants. None of these places. Applebee's get... was good. Yeah. That food was good at Applebee's. Did you guys enjoy the um front of you order? Did you guys enjoy that? No, nah, the peach cobbler the shit. What? Yeah, this one was the shit. This one I, I, I ain't try to I ain't tried to sweet potato yet. This that ain't no sweet too. potato pie. That looks doughy. It looks like bread. It's an okay custard. It's not a sweet potato pie. It looks like bread. Yeah. Hey, we, we went on. Yeah, I can't do it. It's cool. We around. <laughs> mm. So we done. So we got to sell dollar this salami, the place we still eat. Oh, we can do that. We can definitely do that. I got four fast. That's why I was drinking my wine before. Consolidating these plates real fast. Oh, you doing it? Thank you, baby. Mm. Yeah, good, hubby. That's my that's my lovey. Don't believe that I'm a jerk. Sometimes I'm here to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, every ev there's every man is a jerk sometimes, but men. And ladies, be honest. Be honest. Women are assholes 95% of the time to so they man. What? Be honest. Women, women are 
They are women. Oh, y'all women are oh. Don't be like that. <laughs> I, I'm Don't not be being, like that. I say, I say, I say, listen, us men be jerks at times. We we do. You say that to say the next thing, man. <laughs> I'm not crazy. <laughs> Right. Don't be bashing women. I'm not bashing women. I, I'm telling the truth. Men are jerks sometimes. All the time. Well, no, we no, <laughs> men, we're not jerks all the time. I'm now, wait, now, some we, there is some jerks, plain jerks, period, all the time. But men are jerks sometimes. But women, oh y'all, <laughs> and you know what? Women, it don't oh, even be. Mom. It don't even be y'all be be being mean to us, y'all. Well, some of y'all do be mean to us. But some of y'all just like the nag, and some of y'all don't like, won't don't want us to have no space. Um, and I don't know, I, you know, some of y'all just I don't give you space. Now I ain't talk about you, babe. I want to know. At times you don't. At times you don't. Me? No, I'm not talking. Look at it. She ain't feeling. Sell a guy no, her feelings. No, I'm not in my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in my feelings. At time, at time, at, um, I know at times I'm a jerk, <laughs> and we ain't talking about that. <laughs> We're not talking about that. I know. I, hey, I, I can be honest. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's let's go. Finish. I'm interested <laughs> in what you have to say. What? Oh, listen. Think. Thanks, just. I'm Mika, interested in what you I, have to say. I, oh, you riding with cakes, Mika? Oh, Thank that's you, girl. crazy. Thank you. <laughs> Men just got this though. <laughs> Thank you. No, listen. We honestly, interested in what he's saying, I, right? Let's yeah, go. because <laughs> listen, y'all, y'all poke at men. Y'all, if the if the if the man don't do something fast enough, y'all snatching. If if the man sometimes if, I, I I'll take that. Well, sometimes if the man don't notice something, y'all snapping. But if. The man can't have no problem. If the, the man have an attitude, y'all want to catch an attitude. He can't have no attitude. No. No, we won't be lost without... Listen. Do y'all really believe we will be lost without y'all? Hell fucking yes. You really believe that? Yes. Damn right. Damn right. Now. Damn right. Y'all do know that... He man. can't even pack his bag properly listen, when I we pack go out of town. He forget underwear, socks. Like, come on. Yeah, they, they really think we'd be lost without them, uh, Justin. They don't understand. See, we 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 are logical people. Women yeah, we, are we're natural logical. born nurturers. Yeah, they're they're so we, emotional. We, Every decision they're going to make is going to be emotional, even though they think it ain't making it logically. So, we'll be lost without y'all? Maybe. We're, we're, maybe. But... Will be more focused, so that would in turn strengthen us and what? better us. No. Yes, because y'all men be even listen. More confused than what no, y'all is now. No, no. Okay. No, see, <laughs> listen. Yeah, I hear. I hear what y'all saying. No, but you're not. You you're not. You're not. You're not trying to hear. Without me. y'all, men would be more focused. Because men do things to get the attention of the women, and so do women. Hey, we talk about men being lost without y'all. Y'all ain't say y'all be lost without us. Y'all say we'll be lost without y'all. Y'all don't do stuff to get no attention, nothing. <laughs> but see, men can cook nowadays, and a lot of men can cook better than women. So, what the? <laughs> Babe, stop. I'm not going to stop it right now. I'm being stop not. it. Just Who's the better cook out of me and you? Me. me. <laughs> me, no, I, I taught you. I, listen, me, I, I'm the best cook. Trust me. <laughs> That's right. Exactly, Justin. <laughs> what did he say? What did he say? Exactly. He said, we can hold it down ourselves, but y'all, say, <laughs> but y'all are a positive ad- addition to us. Yes, they are a positive addition to us. That's something you would say. <laughs> That's something Mr. would say. Yeah, that that's true, that's true, but sometime y'all nurturing becomes a little eh, overbearing, and and then y'all just become plain mean. Disagree? 
Am I getting? Is, is this a dart? <laughs> no, ain't no dart. No, it was. No, ain't no dart line. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, I disagree. I, why would like, you? No, I agree. I agree a little bit. See, I agree a little bit. I was just taking it personal because I know sometimes that's me. I just felt like you was talking about me, right? So <laughs> once again, you proved my point. Women be assholes no, to they men no, 90% no, of the time. No, no, that's not proving your point. <laughs> Agreeing with one thing is not proving a point. <laughs> Especially when you're saying all this other extra stuff. Mm. Exactly. Exactly. This is this is trash, right? Babe, mm -hmm. it's trash. They got some greens. You say you want the greens? Mm hmm You want to keep these? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what? Do you do who who pushes who more? I, I know I know y'all believe <laughs> women do push men to be better. More men should push their women to be better. I totally agree with that. You have no 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 argument. I have no quims with that because that's the honest to God truth. Most women or more women push their man to be better. However, a lot of men out there, they you know we have a different style of pushing and teaching and, and nurturing. So. And what's this? True. Just the turkey wings? Yeah. True. But like I was saying, men have a different way. And sometimes and sometimes y'all female females don't excuse me. Sometimes females don't recognize that. They they can't they don't understand or comprehend it because a lot of men uh aren't good at communicating or we're not good at communicating the way y'all feel we should. We can't relay that message to you. And it seems what like we're being about? a certain way when we're pushing and trying to teach y'all and encourage y'all to grow. A lot of times we 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 do it in a way where we're like telling you. And it sounds <laughs> it, What are you talking about? I'm answering the questions. Um. Yeah, they can't. They they. Yeah. Um. If they can't, you're right. They they can't come talk to us like they can talk to other females oh. because females or mates because a lot of times we we we're not going to understand it we're not going to re react the way they want us to we we wired weird like that um i don't know i i, <laughs> I really i really have nothing to say about that cuz that's that's just the truth a lot of times when our mate come and talk to us we just Go brain brain death or something. Oh, that's good. That's good. She said that's why it's important to know your spouse love language. I say that all the time. But I say um, that all the time. Not that is that way, but I say get to know your partner. And that is so true. What is a love language? No, seriously, what's a, what's a love language? No, I really want to know. What's the love language? You know when your partner wants to talk, when they want to cuddle, when they want to be alone. You know, you get a feeling or a look, and you can just recognize when something is going on. That's what I say. That's what I say. Interesting. Sounds interesting. Hmm. 
Nah, I, I, that's interesting. I want to see. You about to Google it? He is such a nerd. He Googles everything. Let's get the scientific uh, term terminology for it. You are such a nerd. Mm -hmm. I think those are good signs. I think those are good signs that I said. What you think? I think they're good signs. Understanding body language. Understanding what? Quality time. I said that too. Words of affirmation. Encouraging your partner. I say that all the time. What else? What else? Acts of service. That should be Physical without a touch. Physical. Yeah, so why... Why why would I say it in my own way? Because Mika said it in her own way. We all got our own way to say whatever we mean. But it still is what it is, babe. You feel some kind of way. I feel him too. He feels some feel kind of way. A little bit you are. A little bit you are. For what? I don't know. I ain't feeling okay. Get out of here. Now, what do you say? What's, what's your love? What do you say? Since you want to be all nerdy and stuff. Um, like Google everything on the spot. You do this all the time, too. I can, from what from from what I read, I could, uh, I can identify, if it's what, if, if it's what I read right then, I can identify her love language. As far as identifying minds, um, well, how can you identify mine? Tell me something because I, I, I guess and, I know you. I guess, be I guess, I, be, I guess I've become in tune <laughs> and recognized. But see, I study you, I recognize, I study you, I study everybody, though. That's just something I do, yeah, me too. That's just something I do, but, but that's that's what I had to do because you know when we first got together, I wasn't really into you, and you still don't believe that. But you know, yeah. once I realized that she said when we first got together, she wasn't into me. I really wasn't for two years. I mean, I didn't think that we was gonna be together. I don't know. That sounds kind of crazy. I'm being honest. I don't know, Justin. She, I, I, I want to think she's fronting, but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know how I'm supposed to take that right there. <laughs> I don't know. I, I may feel some type of way about you that. You don't feel no type of way. <laughs> <laughs> you don't feel no kind of way. How you My know? My handsome love you do. You don't no kind of way. But you see, that's it. And, and if you, ah, let me get my words together. I always play, you know, devil's advocate, not, and, you know, I speak my, you know, but see, it's, it, Wow, we've been married nine. Congratulations, by the way. What? She's been married for two years. Oh, that's what's up. We've been married nine together, fifteen. Yes. Um. That's you know, up. I I believe love is a choice, and in decisions. I think. Uh, uh affection i guess that's what people say you know they they love them or whatever they think is affection or they feel some type of way but i, I believe love is a decision and i i because 
But see, that's what I don't understand about the um her saying she ain't she ain't wasn't feeling me for two years. <laughs> and and you say, you know, I loved you on the third day or the second day. What day did we say we loved each other on the second day or the third day? Third. That's the third day. The third day I loved him. That's when we say we love each other on the third day. What I'm saying is I was, you know, still pretty young, although I'm still young. I had second thoughts, and I didn't know if we was going to... I didn't think we was going to be married. He told me we was going to be married when we met. Do you know how weird that felt? I'm like, what the heck is going on? This is crazy. And we're married. Going on 10 years this year. It'll be our 10th wedding anniversary. In November. So I'm just being honest and, you know, love at first sight. Yes, it was because he had some beautiful eyes and it got lighter. I was like, oh, my gosh, did I do that? But, you know, I'm just being real. <laughs> but um, Mika said in one of her comments that, um, wait, what's she say? Let me see. Something about uh, it's challenging. Yeah, it, it, it's crazy because um, it seems like everything um, hits a little different. Everything hits a little harder. And the first thing, the first time something happened, you can't give up. You know, you can't give up because you got to both start with the same mind frame so you can build your foundation together. And, and some hiccup happened, you got to know, you know, your your strength will definitely be tested. Your strength will be tested. But this is what I want to know. What changes? I mean, I know what changes, but what changes, what dynamic changes from just being a couple to being married? What happens from being a couple to being married that, that once you're married, Mary is so devastating that you separate, be bitter, and, and don't even speak anymore. But when you're just a couple, if you separate, you're still friendly. What what happens? Mm. What changes? Because yes. all, all, all you're doing a walk is walking down the aisle and just declaring um and, and, and documenting your love for this person and y'all becoming one. But you already won when you're a couple and doing the same thing. What what changes? What what in that dynamic shifts that makes it so bad once you get married? I can't answer that. I have to. I, I can't answer that. right now. I can't give an answer right away. I don't. I, I don't. I don't see. I really don't see too much of a shift. I don't. And it and it's crazy. It's, 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 it's definitely believable. Oh my gosh! Yes, I like you, Mika. I say the same thing. Oh my goodness! Communication is the key. He made a song with that title too, and I love it. And you need to remake it. You need to remake that song. I want you to. With the new uh, 2020 twist. Because so, 2020 will be here before you know it. Mm. So where, where does the balance come in at, um, Justin? Where do you think the balance need to come in at? Because y'all both make great points. And the I, and balance come in where it's supposed to come in at. That's how I feel. Because when you say you balance, like, I know for a fact we balance each other. But you can't sit here and say, I'm balancing you 20% or I'm balancing you 50% or I'm balancing you 80%. You can't really say that. I'm balancing you sometimes. I'm balancing you all the time. That's for sure. That's all you can say. As long as you're there for that person when they... Thanks. 
thank you. We, we, we welcome you for coming and come back soon. Have a good night and don't work too hard tomorrow. <laughs> good night. <laughs> All right, Justin. I'll catch you tomorrow. I mean, next time I'm on, bro. Salute. Have a good night. Okay. And don't work too hard. That's right. <laughs> good night. Good night. Um, right now, just some wine, fruit punch, and mango lemonade. We're gonna we ain't we ain't we ain't we couldn't get too tipsy tonight. We ain't had nothing in our stomach. <laughs> right. Right. Mm. Got it. So are, are we done with the balancing thing? Or did, did you get that part clear? Um, you had, uh, you okay. was that honestly answering the balance part. I, w- I wasn't answering that. All right. Well, moving along. Yes, sir. What? Another 420 party soon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We should have did it on the 11th, but we probably was sleep. Oh. We had just came back in town. We always travel. We don't know exactly what day, but we're going to have a a big live. And um, we'll promote it. We'll let y'all know a week in advance. A week? That's a long time. Well, maybe two days in advance. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, really? Okay. Happy birthday, Justin. Yes, happy sister. birthday. <laughs> well, happy belated birthday. <laughs> yeah, right? It was like 10 days ago. <laughs> right, oh, right. <laughs> Yeah, right. I wanted to tell more of my story, but we're gonna do it next time. How we bet it's time. Oh, go ahead. No, not right now. Next time. <laughs> I'm gonna do it next time. So you're gonna do it next time. We're gonna do it next time. We're gonna do it next time. Yeah. Oh man. So For sure, though. Much love, bro. Catch some Z's. See you later. <laughs> oh, so, um, hmm. What shall I say? My back hurts. Say for what? What should you say for what? You better believe it. <laughs> you better believe it. We full. Gonna have some more coffee. Then we're gonna hit that sack. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we got we gotta have Mr. Happy Time first. <laughs> you ain't going to sleep yet. You're not going to sleep yet. You make sure you don't. You hear me? You hear me? Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> the affirmation of oneself is exactly what it is. Mm-hmm. The affirmation of one. You don't need anyone else to make you feel special. You don't need anyone else to dictate who you are and who you aren't. You don't need anyone to lead you and direct you to what they think you should be. You don't never need anyone to give you your own your own identity. You don't need no one to give you that. You affirm who you are. You do. The affirmation of oneself, standing in one's own truth, 
one's own path, his own ways, his own thought, his 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 own everything about him, for lack of a better word. So remember, you don't need nobody but yourself. It'd be nice to have people, but you don't need them. You don't need a crew. You don't need a mob. You don't need a clique. You don't God. Everybody else is secondary. Be nice to have them, but you don't need them. And that goes for everybody. <clears throat> so on that note, I see you just. Salute, bruh. Anybody else? I missed her. Cakes. That's cakes with marriage and marijuana. Hey, thanks for coming by. You want to subscribe? Be our guest. If not, please subscribe. We got so many more videos to do. We love to go live to engage with you guys. So hit the bell to know when we're coming on. So you'll be the first one to comment. Come back. Sideways. Well, oh, well. All right, y'all. <sighs> Go watch another one of our videos.